All right, fellas. Volume two of the run and shoot offense. This is gonna be um, building on what we did in the the first video, the foundation video. Well, I'm gonna show you how the use of motion takes this to another level. Now, I actually discovered this accidentally in game. Uh, I just decided to include motion while I was doing this bubble screen, and I almost didn't pass this ball. I was surprised at how wide open I was. Like I, I paused for a minute. So of course, immediately after this, I I took it into the lab. I said, okay, why did this work? How does this work? And what does it do against other other um defenses, other coverages? Because that was obviously man. So I'm gonna start with it against cover two. Uh, like I do everything, I always do the drop coverages first, then the man coverages, then the the match coverages, and that's you know that's just preference. For me, it's easier to remember it's cover two, three, four, yeah, whatever. That's just kind of how I like to do it. But I check everything against every defense. That that's just and to be completely honest, it can feel boring sometimes, but you gotta make yourself enjoy it. And what happens is the focus is on the right side of the field, or the trip side, because of course if we flip it, it's gonna be the left side. But let's just say the right side for now. The focus is on the right side of the field. The focus is in the middle of the field. So when when we motion to these other formations now, we start attacking the other side of the field. But here you go, you see, 20 for 21 passing, we've already discussed it. And the one bad pass that I threw was absolute garbage. You're not going to see it. Only reason, the setups that we haven't gone over in the ebook, I cut out of the video. Because I want to go over them before you, you see them live in game. So, um, and that's going to be, and this is how you got to run this offense. See, so now you see what's going on. Now the bubble's naked. So, we're going to take that. So we're going to let them know, hey, you got two things to think about. I'm going to tell you something. If that hit doesn't cause a fumble, I don't know what hit does. we growing and evolving as the year goes on. But right now, that's the plan. And here we go. We're going to hit him with that motion. We're about to annoy this dude. I mean, look at this, man. This is pitch and catch. This is pitch and catch. Simple math. It's simple math. And now, he's seen this before. And I'm going to do it again. And I'm watching to see where his juice is. And he's leaving the bubble, so I'm going to the bubble. Easy touchdown. And that's what it is in, in the NFL. Possessions, uh, pos field position, all those sorts of things. So now, you see what I'm doing? That motion bubble. Look at all that space. I actually took a long time to throw it there. If I recall correctly, I, like you have got to get yourself ready to defend this. See, so now he's come over into the box. You know what? I'm going to throw the bubble screen. Come on. I'm going to start the second half just like I did the first half, baby. The plays out of, I think it was Trips HP Week. But, of course, I didn't show that, like I said. But third and nine. This this motion bubble is so good that third and nine, I'm willing to run it. And, and with confidence. Look at all this space. Oh, man. Had him chasing those crosses from PAFL stretch and killed him with this drag, bro. See, so the field is getting stretched. Can you see how how stretched it is radically? Can, can you see how much space my receivers have and how much field he has to cover? You, you can typically get a read on what the defense is in when you do the motion. So you can audible to a play that beats that and then just snap it as soon as um, the receiver gets back on the other side of the field. That's what I should have done here, right there. Anyway, we go back to the bubble and we pick up five. So he's still in the gun split coach. But we know what his tendencies are with it. We know what he likes to do. And I got him undercut this route and take it to the house. Now this is it. You gotta have all phases of the game playing football. It's about time the defense showed up. So we about to close it out. So me, I come out of my 4-6. I come out of my 4-6 unless it's like less than seven seconds. I'm not playing that safe defense. Because that safe defense ain't safe. But anyway, I hit him with another zone, cover three. Uh it's not it says it's cover three match, but I actually put Cloud Flats out there and well, this interception was the one that did it. So hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. And y'all make sure y'all hit me up with any questions, man. I got the next update coming back.